My wife's grandmother, Irene Haberlin, bought this gallery property in the mid-50s as the orchard industry was on its way to, in, to decline. And she had the barn for a, you know, a decade or so and then decided to open an art gallery with her daughter, Anne, my, my mother-in-law. They opened in June of 1969 and, and now in our 44th season, we're happy to still be here and still showing some of the original artists that she showed that first summer in 69. We really try to create a sense of being somewhere else, somewhere you wouldn't expect on Peninsula Players Road as you turn into the driveway. So I think combining that unique sense of place with really outstanding artwork, we really try to find the very best we can from Door County, Wisconsin, and across the country. The experience that people get here, and I'm finding this with the newcomers who say, I've lived here for so many years and never knew this place. And somehow they find this place and it just registers karma. They just are in peace with themselves. They love being in this place physically, mentally. It just brings them ultimate peace. Really the relationship that we have with the artists and not trying to direct their focus to what we want them to paint, but really just saying, you can be as creative as you want. Whatever you want to paint, we'll be delighted to show it. And if it sells, great, but we want to have a really inspiring place that people can come and see and let the artist's creativity really take them where they want it to, and rather than being pigeonholed. Edgewood Orchard began as a fruit orchard back in the 1920s. I think just the sense, sense of the age of the place, the, the stone walls, and then the surrounding 40-acre orchard, you know, we've used the stones that were cleared from that orchard a hundred years ago to create some serpentine paths and a sculpture garden that has allowed us another interesting venue to present more artwork. It's a relaxing place to sit in the courtyard or stroll through the garden, and people are really drawn to that. Some of the local artists that we show are, of course, Craig Bleets. His art is so masterful, and any piece of work that he does. You can't say, oh, this was painted in 2012. You could look at his painting and say, was it in the 1700? Was it in 1800? It is ageless. Judy's work is representational. It's kind of a Monet-ish or Impressionist styling, so you get the feel from it. Her work is loved by many, many people. And she does have a tremendously large uh, clientele here. Gretchen Klug, she has this way with light. I mean, light is so important in paintings. And she loves nature and birches, birch trees. That, that is her, as one would say in French, pièce de résistance. David Tilton does something called pigment art with computer images. He will go and get maybe a thousand different images, shadows, or something, and somehow put it all together and come with this design. And it's something new for the gallery. Gina De Aurelius, they've been here for a long time. They've been friends with uh, Mino and Anne, so they're very close friends. Their work is Door County Scenes, beautiful pottery, a great asset for the community and love their work. Bill Nelson, he came here and he brought this fabulous vase, the most incredible vase I've ever seen. It's not inlaid work, it is actual pieces, cut up pieces that he is able to put together. It takes extraordinary talent to make something so exquisite. We are so fortunate to have an artist of that caliber in woodworking. Jim Rose does steel work. You look at it and people think it's woodwork and it looks very shaker. It's very, very accurate. We're very pleased he has a piece that was at the Smithsonian. Very talented and um, lives in Southern Door. Flora um, lives in Costa Rica now. Her work is very whimsical. It's kind of spiritual, whimsical. You look at it, you're, it, it tells a story. It tells the story of nature colorful and delightful. We look for artwork that inspires us, and usually if it inspires us, it, it speaks to others as well. And so really just trusting our instinct and, and looking for that, not even looking for a connection, but just letting the painting connect with you. I think that's been a winning recipe, and it sometimes results in showing unconventional pieces of art. but. Um, having that connection with a piece of work really makes it powerful and it's something that 
it's great to come into work because we can be surrounded by beautiful things that that just really lift your day. Mm -hmm.